Hi everyone. So I wanted to make a quick video to show you how to navigate and access your lesson and assignment for week two for distance learning. Um, some of you were not able to attend the Zoom session and that's fine, they're completely optional. But I wanted to also upload a video so you guys get the same content and the same personal nature of me showing you how to um, access your assignment and how to submit it. So in modules, you're gonna go down to week two. The beginning lesson is reading informational text. You will want to go through this lesson and slideshow before accessing and completing the quiz. This is valuable information that is gonna help you complete the quiz successfully. Remember, you do get three attempts for the quiz, so I would utilize those and try to get the better score possible. Here is going to be your lesson, researching and organizing information. This is the second lesson for week two. There is no quiz for this lesson, but there is an assignment that you do have to complete and submit. So let's go ahead and take a look at this assignment, researching or organizing information. Here you're going to have nine slides. Make sure that you're going through all the slides, navigating through these arrows at the top, so you can get all the content and understand how to do the assignment appropriately. So the first slide is just going to be an introduction. The second slide is your objective. So after completing this lesson, you should be able to select appropriate online resources. Remember we have talked about using credible resources in the last lesson. You're gonna be collecting evidence from articles that are gonna be provided to fill out your chart from informational text. And you're also going to be generating questions on things that you would want to research more about. So let's go ahead and go up to three. This is a little bit of information on how you can make your research and ideas more interesting for your writing. Slide four. This is going to start getting into your assignment. So you're gonna have an informational research chart to fill out and submit. Yes, you are going to be writing an essay, but not this week. So I would not worry about that. What you're worrying about is your research and organizing your information. So you're gonna be given a chart that looks similar to this. You're gonna be picking one monster, and we'll get into that in just a minute, and you're gonna be discussing what the problem is the way it affects people and who it affects, and the problem or solution, how are you going to solve this problem? So let's go to slide five. And this is gonna be an interactive lesson. So you're gonna hit begin, and you're gonna go down here and you're gonna go through the slide. Once you're finished with that, you're gonna come up here to slide six. And this is gonna be about choosing your topic. So you're gonna be given three monsters, one from the sky, one from the land, and one from the sea. And you choose one, one monster. You're gonna be given two articles or two resources with each monster. So slide seven is where you're going to pick your monster and here is where the articles are attached. So you have to pick from either a vulture, a Komodo dragon, or a jellyfish. And here you can preview the articles, take a look at them, and pick which monster you would want to write about. So remember, when you're filling out your chart, you might wanna come back up here to slide seven to access these articles. Once you have figured out what monster you want to write about, you're gonna come up here and take a glance at slide eight. This is just the research process. So you're choosing your topic. So either the vulture, the jellyfish, or the Komodo dragon is going to be your topic. Locate a credible source. You already have two that are gonna be provided for you. If you want to locate a third credible source on your own, you are more than welcome and that is optional. You're gonna be collecting interesting ideas and supporting facts and you're gonna generate questions that you want to answer. What is something that you might want to know about a Komodo dragon or a jellyfish or a vulture? Make sure you collect enough information. It's better to have too much information than not enough. The last slide, slide nine, is where you're going to find your assignment in your instructions. So click the yellow button that says instructions, and this should pop up. This is where you're gonna access your chart. You, this is your assignment. This is what you're gonna have to fill out and submit for your grade. 
So you're going to click this and your chart should pop up. Now you can type on it from here and save, or you can go ahead and just leave it blank and save and work on it at a later time. So to save it, hit save. It's going to start downloading here in the bottom. Click it. And here is your chart, okay? And so you're going to put in your topic. So if you're writing about jellyfish, you're going to fill it in, okay? And then you're going to look at the articles, and you're going to see what the problem is with the jellyfish, who is it affecting, and what kind of solution can we do to solve this problem. You're going to provide some forwarding facts here. The questions that you may have or things you want to know more about jellyfish, and you're going to put the title, author, and web address for each source. When you are done, you're going to save. I always like to go to save as, and I like to save it. So I'm just going to save it as Miss Manson Week 2 Assignment, so I know what it's titled. And I like to save it as in my desktop, so it's easier for me to find when I'm going to submit it. So I'm going to hit save. So then if you notice, it saves. Okay. When you're done with your chart and you want to submit it, you're going to go back up to modules. You're going to go back down to week two. And this is where you're going to submit. So here is where your lesson is. This is where you're going to access your chart and your articles. But here is where you're going to submit your assignment. So we're going to click this. And you'll see Submit Assignment. Click that. You're going to choose your file. Now this is where saving to the desktop comes in handy. So I just go to Desktop. And I'm going to see Miss Manson Week 2 Assignment. Make sure it's the correct one. Look at the preview. And I'm going to hit open. And here it is right here. Then I'm going to click submit. And then once you click submit, I get a notification that you have turned in your assignment. I will go and put in a grade automatically. And I will also provide feedback and comments. And you do have the opportunity to take those comments, revise your chart, and send it in for a better grade. And I would take advantage of that opportunity. Um, I hope this video helps you. If you have any other questions, please feel free to inbox me through my learning, or you can also text me at the number provided in the announcements. I hope this helps. Bye, guys.